Ed Sheridan is Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug. If you're trying to pick up your Transformers figures, you can pick them up at Big Bad Toy. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Again, I absolutely love the packaging for these Transformers 4 figures. I really think this is a great picture of Slug, not Slag over here, which is extremely frustrating to me. Actually, I looked it up on Wikipedia. It was so frustrating. Uh, finding out that in the UK slag is actually a cuss word and then I know for a fact that slag is a cuss word in the Beast Wars universe or in the Transformers universe and I thought that was actually the main reason and I think it's just absolutely ridiculous so there's my slug slag rant anyway but the packaging looks really cool I mean look at this picture we got this badass looking triceratops over here that is just really really cool looking and on the side of the packaging you can see it a little better over here and you can see him stomping around that looks tight then he's number three out of the four deluxe class figures and looking on the back we got scorn which i already reviewed crosshairs and bumblebee which i will be reviewing there's his dino mode there's his robot mode he comes with two swords and he transforms in 16 steps he has this little bio that says the fiery warrior hates taking orders unless it means he gets to destroy something he'll level anything in his path with a fit of white hot dino rage Ooh, white hot dino rage then here's the other side we get this translucent kind of writing right over here with the transformers in red looks very, very cool. Anyway, I'm excited for this figure. Let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Slug out of his packaging. And this is a pretty okay figure. I gotta say, I'm not as excited about this figure. Not nearly as excited about this figure as I was for the Scorn figure. The Scorn figure I just thought was really cool. This guy, yeah, there's some frustrations with it. But overall, it's a pretty cool looking figure. The Dino mode is pretty nice. And the Robot mode is okay. I'm thinking again, I like the Dino mode more. Now he does come with an instruction booklet over here, which which does work pretty well. He does have 16 steps to get him into both modes, so that's not too shabby. Uh, and then he does have his two swords. Now again, just like the Scorn, when you open this guy up, he's mistransformed, as you can see in this picture right here. The legs all kind of weird and stuff, and then the swords come in this little 69 position. And then you're supposed to actually store the swords while he's in his robot mode, or his dino mode anyway. You're supposed to store them into his rib cage right here. This is just ridiculous, and it shows this in the instruction book that I couldn't really believe it and I cannot stand this this is terrible what the hell is this man so what he's a flying triceratops I don't know I just think this is kind of strange Whoosh. Wish they had done something where they had made this part of the tail or make him at least stick backwards or part of the leg. I don't know, but that's just ridiculous. So if I'm going to have him in his dino mode, I have to put this aside. And these are very rubbery pieces, by the way. You know, they're very soft, pliable, rubbery material. Same thing with this end of the tail. This is very soft. I got to say, I like how this looks. It's got this skeletal kind of design over here, and I think that's pretty neat. So this is all soft rubber. Same thing with the horns. Same thing with his front horn over here, and then his goatee thingy which is kind of crazy that he has these two little horns and same thing with all the teeth even the teeth that are attached to the hard plastic section right here the top part of his mouth so that's pretty interesting then we saw this gunmetal color on the scorn figure which I really like and I like all these little plates sculpted over here I think that's pretty cool and again I like this silver paint application right here so nice shiny silver looks pretty nice and looking at the frill and everything or looking at his crest it looks pretty cool I gotta say this is not a bad looking triceratops I do think this little part right down here is weird, but other than that, I think it's pretty nice. And he also has some nice shiny blue paint for his eyes too, and I don't think that looks too bad. And the purple has got some kind of a metallic sheen to it, kind of like the red on the Scorn figure. The red on this figure though is a very matted red, it's very flat. Nice lines sculpted right here in this soft plastic. I think this actually looks pretty cool, uh, but again, you know, there are some issues. Uh, big issue for me, you know, you have his Autobot logo right there, but this thing with the legs, I have to have his legs posed like this if I want these tabs to work in here correctly. He's got this tab on his hip that attaches to this back plate over here, so you can see like there's an empty slot right there and right there. And then there's those two tabs sticking out. And the only time I can really get this all to attach correctly and be flush is if the legs are kind of sticking outward like this. So as soon as I start to straighten them out a little bit, this just pops up. And that frustrates the hell out of me. But it's actually really not the biggest deal in the world. And it does have some pretty decent articulation. You can move the jaw up and down quite a bit. And the head moves up and down as well. So you can have him in a charging kind of mode. Or you can have his head up. And his arms can be moved outward right here. And then you can rotate his front arms forward forward and back a little bit. He also bends at the elbow right here and then 
then that's just really about it. So yeah, I thought the wrist could move, but nope, that's only over here. So on the hind legs, you can move the feet up and down, and then you can move this forward and back a little bit, but you start to detransform him, and it's not really a whole lot you can really do without this back piece coming off, as I just mentioned a second ago. But there is enough movement in the legs where you can pose him around, you know, charging, or you can kind of have him like in mid stride or something like that. And then to get a measurement of Slug's dino mode, he's at about six and a half inches across. And here he is alongside the deluxe scorn figure and here they are facing each other so I guess they fit into somewhat scale with each other I guess. And for right now these being the only two Dinobot figures that I have having a Spinosaurus and a Triceratops isn't too bad even though it's not a T-Rex but you know you can still have blah, 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 blah. And here's my slug figure compared to my G1 slag and they're actually closer in size than I expected uh, but you know there they go side by side facing each other. You can see how large the G1 figure is compared to this new deluxe figure. Take one last look at this before we transform him into his robot mode. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? All right, get out of here, Bumblebee. So the first thing you want to do, well, get Bumblebee out of the way, and then you want to take the tail and then just flip this up right over here. And then you're going to extend the legs, and you can tuck this little feetsy thingy right here and tuck the other little feetsy right over there, and then extend this leg like that. So I like how I said extend the legs, and then I did something else. And then he has his rib cage right down here, and we're going to detach this from the spine area and swing that downward and do that to the other side right here. And you want to move the head down as much as you can, and then you're gonna take the front legs and you're gonna swing them backwards. And it gets a little shifty around here, I gotta say, but it's not too crazy or anything. I just don't wanna get the plastic scratched or ruin the paint or anything like that. So just wanna just turn this backwards and then there you go. And then right here, you're gonna split this right in half, just right down the middle. So the front horn, you can see that in the mouth splits in half too. And it's kind of tricky sometimes, cause again, you don't wanna ruin the paint, but let's see if I just stick my finger, there you go. And you just wind that. And then we're gonna take the fists right here and swing them outward, close the forearm up. Same thing on this side, swing the fist out. Close the forearm up, and then that works nicely so that that's just all ready to go. And then you're going to take this frill right over here, or I keep calling it frill, but I mean the crust, and then just take that little piece, flip that inward, and then you're going to straighten out the legs a little better than that. Oh, and he has his feet that come out, so you get those elf shoes again. These are actually kind of like knight feet again, uh, just like on the scorn figure. And then he has these tabs right over here that are on the front legs of the dinosaur, and they're supposed to go into the side of his ribs right over here, and that doesn't really work out too well for me. I don't know. I'm kind of having a hard time having that stay. I'll plug these in for right now, but watch, they're gonna just pop out on me and that's just kind of frustrating. Pretty much it right there. That's how it says you're supposed to transform it. And I don't really like how this looks all the way. I really think they could have done something better with this piece hanging down over here. I actually prefer having this kind of tilted up more. It doesn't really look too good when you look at it from the side like this, but it looks a little better in my opinion when you look at them head on. I think that looks like a little bit more of a real kind of cool robot, you know? I don't know, I think that looks pretty badass actually. Actually, it's not too bad. Then he has his two swords, and you can have him hold his swords. You know, they both fit into each of the hands nicely. They're the same swords, and it's the same kind of slot for each hand, and that's not too shabby. So pretty nice looking head sculpt. Again, they have this knight thing going on with these Dinobots, and I think it's pretty cool, and I really like how the blue paint came out right there in the visor section of his helmet. I think that's nice. The silver paint applications look pretty good. And coming all the way around over here, you can see the back of his head. That looks pretty cool. Pretty happy with this robot mode, actually. I think I actually do like the robot mode. Now that I think about it, I don't know. I feel a little schizophrenic about the whole thing, but <laughs> thinking too much about it, man. But I really like this gunmetal color right here for the torso section. Goes all the way down to the crotch over there. And then again with the purple. Looks pretty cool, man. I like having that Triceratops head split in two and making some really wicked shoulder pads. I don't think that's too bad at all. So yeah, there's pretty much it. So here's a side view of the figure. I really like how the legs came out. The legs and the arms look pretty bulky. Then here's looking at the back of the figure, even though I technically have him mistransformed, the main difference being this is supposed to be swung all the way down here. 
Again, I just don't really like how that looks with that big skirt piece just hanging down in between his legs. It's just so weird to me. Uh, the head moves side to side, okay. You can't get him looking up at all, but he can look down. And his head's on this ball joint, so you can get some neck pivot over here. And due to the transformation, I guess he has an armpit joint, so that's kind of neat. He has a ball jointed shoulder that can move forward, and you can move it outward. He also has an above the elbow swivel over here, and he bends at the elbow at 90 degrees, so that's pretty Pretty nice and then no wrist articulation except for a kind of swing and inward due to the transformation he also has a waist joint over here so you can turn him side to side he has pretty good hip joints that move outward you can get him to kick forward and he bends at the knee right here and this bends due to the transformation but you know because he's in robot mode you want it to bend right there and then you can kind of move the toes up and down like that but that's just mostly due to the transformation again so that's really all he has I like the articulation on this guy it's enough to get him into some decent poses so this deluxe class figure stands I want to say up to the top of his horns over there at around six inches tall, but to the top of his head He's at five inches tall and here's slug compared to scorn and to my surprise slug looks like he stands just a little bit taller I gotta say out of the two of these I do like the robot mode on slug more so than scorn this proportion over here is still really weird And here's slug and scorn compared to the age of extinction first edition leader class Optimus Prime and here's slug compared to slag And I think it's really cool how you can see how they've kept the consistency with the horns sticking out over here on this newer version version compared to the G1 slag over here. I think that's pretty neat. They stand more or less around the same height. And then here's slug compared to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I'm not terribly impressed with this figure. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's a bad figure, but uh, I'm just not really impressed with it. I was pretty impressed with the Scorn figure and I don't know, this one's just not as good in my opinion. Too many problems, man. Like as far as tabbing goes, you know, like with this guy, both in both modes, he's got parts where things fall out of place easily. And if it's happening in both modes, then it's just going to be a bummer overall. I don't know, but I like how it looks and I think it's cool. He comes with these two swords and, you know, I like the paint applications and the design overall. So, like I said, I don't hate the thing, but I'm just not really excited about it. So, it's an okay figure. And I hope you guys like my review. Please check out tformers.com for a photo gallery of images of this figure right here and hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. He also has some rotation. All right.